George Washington's birthday is celebrated on this third Monday of February. We now call it President's Day. It's really a day now to remember all of our presidents, not just Washington and Lincoln. The federal holiday usually falls between their birthdays in February. Thanks for joining us on this Monday evening. I'm Brian Patrick. Frigid temperatures greeted thousands paying tribute today to our first president at his Virginia homestead. Wyatt Goolsby was there at George Washington's Mount Vernon home where visitors joined in a special observance. In honor of his 283rd birthday, members of the U.S. military place a wreath inside George Washington's tomb in Virginia, a sign of respect for a man who set the standard for the American president. At his Mount Vernon home, visitors were treated to patriotic music and military performances. Today, President's Day, is Mount Vernon's single busiest day of the year. The estate hosts thousands who tour the grounds and participate in programs all aimed at taking visitors back to the late 18th century. It's very important for us to create that sense of authenticity, that sense of place, uh, to really give people a sense of what it was like in early America, the world that Washington lived in. That means close attention to detail, whether it's the buildings and shops or the actors in period costumes. The characters walking around the ground tell stories that would have been current to his time. If you try to bring them into our world, they try to push you back and remind you that they are living in 1799 and what you know today may be very different from what they, what they know. No better example of that than General Washington himself, who refused to break character even when I asked him about his birthday. How old are you going to be now? Well, I'm well into my 60s, sir. How old are you? Well, uh, luckily I'm just 30, so I'm not quite, quite as much, not quite there yet. I have boots older than you. <laughs> the general even opened up about his childhood. We've been hearing this rumor that you chopped down a cherry tree. It never happened. It's a myth. There is a fellow who wrote a story about me, and he doesn't know a lick about my childhood. And so he uh, made up this story. But he was trying to teach a story, and I do believe that honesty is the best policy. And for all the people who celebrate George Washington, it's good to know the first president was always honest and respectful to visitors at his home, virtues that Americans still hold dear to this day. I guess we, we bow since we're in Virginia. We bow, sir. In Virginia, Wyatt Goolsby, EWTN News Nightly. Classic Goolsby there. Thank you, Wyatt.